Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot. <clears throat> I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you today. I'm using the Universe Has Your Back uh, deck for you. Um, lovely expression. Uh, the Universe is your friend, and uh, it is you experiencing itself. And we're going to see what message uh, the Universe, God, Spirit has for you uh, this evening. Um, and uh, if the reading resonates, my darling, it is simply you remembering in divine timing what you already know within your soul. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means this message wasn't for you at this time, but there'll always be a message out there for you to exactly the right time as guided by spirit. Thank you as ever for all of the wonderful comments and the subscribes. I am so very grateful. It is a wonderful exchange, a beautiful exchange of energy between us. And if you would like a personal reading with me, uh, please do uh, look in the description box. All the details are there for you, plus the link through to my website. Um, so let's move ahead with the reading and let's see what wants to come out for you. Oh, that wanted to come out already. Okay, so what have we got? We have got uh, Hope is the Conduit for Miracles. And on the bottom of the deck, we have got My Vibes Speak Louder Than My Words. So let's have a look. Let's put that down there and let's see. So my vibes speak louder than my words. This is on the bottom of the deck. And then we have hope is the conduit for miracles here. So I'm just going to this obviously going together beautifully as spirit has done. Uh, what this is about is my vibes speak louder than my words is the the thought vibrations that you are um, giving out at this time. And it is a reminder for you to catch those thoughts that are negative at this time, because we are, and I say this a lot, <clears throat> we are energy in motion. Our emotions are energy in motion. We are made up of energy down that tiniest, tiniest, tiniest atom or particle. It is all energy and it is all part of the universe. It is all source energy experiencing itself. So it is very powerful, our thoughts, and with those thoughts, there is always an emotion that goes with them. It's like a partner, isn't it? You, you can't really have a thought without having a feeling that's attached to it. And so whatever you're giving out as a thought vibration, a, a word, vi a, a feeling vibration, it's much, much more powerful than the words you're using because there's always the underlying feeling that goes with it. So it's a reminder for you um, that you are being asked at this time just to watch perhaps a little bit of maybe negative self um, thinking and feeling that you're doing, uh, a feeling of um, hopelessness, a feeling of this isn't going to work out, a feeling of um, how can I make this work, I can't do this, all of those sort of things. Basically, you are emitting that as a vibration out to the universe. Now, the wonderful, wonderful tool that we have in our little toolbox of spirituality is hope. And actually, I feel it's stronger than hope. But let's you, let's look at this word hope now. Hope is the conduit for miracles. Um, the thing is, though, that when we hope for something, don't we? We desire it. We think it might happen for us. We have um, an expectation. Uh, we perhaps expect something to happen. But I'm going to just take one or two steps further than hope. It's it's faith and knowing, not just hope, because hope, hope always hope, hope has an element of doubt to it. If we hope for something, we feel it may or it may not happen, but it would be lovely if it did happen. So um, having faith or having the knowing that something is going to happen, you're not quite sure how it's going to happen, but you just know it will, that is the conduit for miracles. And let's look at the word conduit. The conduit is a, a, um, it's a way by which um, a channel something is carrying, and normally it's sort of water or other fluids from one place to another. So it's a it's a channel for for transmission. And if you look at vibes being vibrational energy transmissioning out as like a radio signal, it's the same with hope. Hope is a transmission. Now it's going from us out there. 
So it's a transmission from us to spirit. It's a transmission from us as we are part of all of life experiencing itself back into all of it. And so we're passing along a knowing to the universe. We're passing along a knowing into source energy that we know that this is going to happen. And that's why it's the conduit for miracles. Because when we have um, more than hope is trust and faith and knowing. I always talk about hope is kind of uh, maybe going at a certain speed and then knowing is kind of your foot flat down on the accelerator, just knowing that it's going to happen. So um, when you are in this space of hope or knowing, um, play a little game with the universe, okay? If you are feeling a little hopelessness at the moment, play a little game with the universe because the universe likes a game and, it, and when you're having fun, it works faster for you. Hope for something or say thank you for something that hasn't yet appeared, uh, that, that you don't really mind if it appears in your life but not or not. It's just almost a passing fancy uh, or just a little kind of, oh, yeah, it would be nice if it appeared, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't and then see what happens. See what happens with the universe's sense of humor in that coming to you at exactly the right time for you. And that is the universe's way of showing that when we know something's coming because we are the universe experiencing itself and therefore what we're putting out there with a the knowing, we, our will then is the universe's will. It always responds with yes, but when we let it go, when we let it go of when it's going to happen and how it's going to happen and who and all of that kind of stuff, we just let it go and we trust that we know it's going to happen and it's always going to happen at the right time for us. But in the meantime, we're going to get on and, and, and do other things, distract ourselves with doing other things, not focusing on the lack of it, because that lack of it then brings in those vibrations that speak louder than words. And I'm going to focus now on this word miracle, okay? So the miracle is something that we cannot explain by natural law or scientific law. It's something that is extraordinary. It's something that it is inexplainable other than it is divine. So whatever you are hoping for at this time, it is something extraordinary. It is something very important for you. And... Um, what spirit wants you to do is to be in that, it's not an expectation of your desires, but it is a knowing that uh, you are going to expect it at some stage. Um, and in the meantime, you're just gonna get on, as I said, and do what you wish to do and distract yourself, focus on your uh, day, uh, be grateful for everything that you are at this time. Because um, I feel, I think if I'm right, um, in terms of miracles, um, the Latin for that is something to do with in wonder, seeing something in wonder. So there is something that spirit has lined up for you. There is something that the universe wants to give you, but it needs your partnership approach with the universe. It needs you to catch those thoughts and almost just say, no, 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 I'm not going to think that. I'm not going to go down that road. I know this is going to happen. And always remember that however we feel something might happen, however we think something should happen, we are thinking that within the parameters of our mind and our mind only retains information from this lifetime. So if there is a miracle here, this is something that is beyond extraordinary. This is something that you couldn't imagine. This is something that is it, it well, you can imagine it, but it is something that you can't, it would be a miraculous to see this happening. And so universe wants you to suspend any disbelief you have, have some fun with it. Um, thank the universe for your surprise and delight. Thank the universe for a specific thing you have no attachment to. Watch how the universe works for you. And trust that if you push down those parameters that you may have set around yourself in terms of what you believe if you just suspend that disbelief and I've been talking about that a lot recently so there's obviously a message here for somebody then the universe can bring that into you but you have to trust you have to have faith and you have to know and sometimes you know surrounding us all the time are signs and synchronicities and wonderful little examples but 
to see them sometimes you have to believe and then you start to laugh because then you start to see the connection with everything so um have a game with the universe test the universe and let go whatever you're asking for at this time that is part of this game and then see the wonderful funny way that the universe delivers that to you and and it's going to through that give you that um give you that uh, sense of peace and kind of do you know what actually i do have faith now i do trust and in fact i also know this is going to happen for me so that was just a little reading for you um and and remember as well that um i was just looking at the word hope again and faith the faith is um so said you don't know how it's going to happen but it's about believing in something that you can't see now not just because you can't see it doesn't mean to say it doesn't exist doesn't mean to say that it isn't there so it is remember that when we see things we tend to see things from our perceived state of being we tend to see things from our cloudy lens of life bless you not we tend to see things how we wish to see them but it doesn't mean to say it's not there and it might not be within your reality right now but remember and I always sort of think about the universe when it's it's bringing things to us that we are looking to manifest, that the cogs start turning and things start happening. And if you imagine it as a spider's web, you know, on the far realms of that spider's web, something is happening and folding into place in order to bring you what you desire. Um, and it's happening at many different levels. And just because you can't see it, it doesn't mean that it's not there. So I'm going to leave that with you. Just quick short reading for you this evening. I've been out and about today with a lovely girlfriend and we've had a lot of fun. So um, I just wanted to get a reading out for you today. So I will be back tomorrow uh, doing another daily reading. And I am also, which is my next, uh, I'm doing uh, Gemini next um, of the cards. <clears throat> so I'm going to go do, do Gemini tomorrow and hopefully if I can also Capricorn. Uh, by, but by next Monday, all of the summer star sign readings will be completed. And I've also got an announcement or two uh, to make for my subscribers as well, uh, which I hope you will like. I trust you will like, um, and uh, I have faith you will like. But in the meantime, my darlings, have a very lovely evening, and I look forward to reading for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So much love to you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>